It's October 1991 and we're about to go on a journey that ended up affecting my life forever. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Retro Skelly and I hope you're well. Today I'm going to talk about my very first system and the nostalgic memories around getting it. But before that, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I really enjoy reading all your comments and I try to reply to every single one. And if you're new to the channel, why not consider pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon so you then get notified of future videos. Right, enough of that waffle, let's get into today's video. <laughs> In the intro, I mentioned that we were going back to October 1991, which is true. My first system was purchased in 1991. But the real journey started three years earlier with an event in the summer of 88 that had a huge impact on both me and my family. My dad was a postman working for Royal Mail when one Saturday morning he was cycling around this roundabout and a motorist didn't stop at this junction, knocking him off his bike. My dad didn't suffer any serious injuries and was lucky to get away with just a mild concussion. He was discharged from hospital on the same day and we either, as a family looked forward to our holiday the following Saturday. But over the next few weeks and months it was clear something wasn't quite right. He was suffering from blackouts and his balance seemed to be seriously affected. Over the next year my dad had to have many tests and medical assessments. It was discovered that he actually had a very mild form of brain damage and at the same age as myself 41, my dad was told he would never work again and was medically retired. Eventually, in 1991, my dad received compensation for his accident. My sisters and I were told that we could each pick something up to the value of £150. I decided I wanted some sort of games console or computer because the majority of my friends already had one. On Friday the 18th of October 1991, when I got back from school, my parents informed me that the computer system that I had ordered had finally arrived in the shop and we could go in and collect it. I remember the exact date being the 18th because the very next day we were going on a family holiday to Blackpool and I was so excited that I could go and pick up this computer system yet really upset that I wouldn't be able to play on it for a whole week. A couple of months ago, I actually retook the very same journey we took back in 1991, walking to the shop to collect that computer system, and I caught it all on video. So, let's roll that footage. <laughs> so then guys, just uh, to park the car out in Stroud, uh, which is a town near to where I live. Um, so yeah, let's go. So guys, you can imagine an excited 11 year old me, no walking up into town on my way to go and pick up my uh, first computer, Micro. And uh, unfortunately, if you know Stroud, it's all hills, hence why I'm a bit out of breath. So here we are on Main High Street Stroud. So then guys, you can hear at the end of that clip, um, once I actually arrived at the shop, I bumped into somebody who um, came over to me um, almost quite aggressively, um, asked me what I was up to and why I was doing it. So um, I instantly thought this was going to be a confrontation um, and I was proven to be right. Roll the video. Oh, you can! Oh, you can! Oh, you can! So then guys, yeah, I was only joking. Even though he did come over to me initially quite aggressive, um, once I told him what I was doing and what I was about, um, we actually, I, we must have stood there and then for about half an hour, 45 minutes, um, the shop um, didn't actually open for another half an hour anyway. Um, so I stood there, we just talked about loads of old things, retro gaming, um, how the town itself had actually changed over the years. We'd both lived there all our lives. 
And while we were talking, I actually realised, or actually found out um, he was homeless. Um, so actually opposite the shop, there's a coffee shop. So I bought him a coffee. Um, and yeah, and we stood there and just uh, passed time away. He was a real decent bloke, actually. Um, so let's now get to the footage of me walking into the shop um, and I'll dub some audio over the top just to explain the layout and um, what the shop's about um, and obviously more about the system that I went in to collect. So here we are outside um, the shop called Antics, um, but back in October 91, it was known as the model shop. Um, and it sold exactly what it says on the tin and still does. Um, stuff to do model making. Um, so airfix models, paints, glues, um, Hornby train sets, um, anything to do with model making, um, it sells. This shelf here, above the counter the um, where the, uh, the till is was the item that I was going in to collect and it caught my eye the second I walked in. I do remember the shop being a lot more crowded, it was a lot more cramped than it is now um, and uh, certainly um, this section here that you can now see um, was all computer games, um, primarily uh, Commodore 64 on one side, Spectrum on the other. Um, and um, as the years went on and it became more popular, um, they did also a very good selection of PC games. So this area here has never changed. This has always been Airfix models here. Um, a quite good selection of Airfix models. And then this bottom section um, is where primarily like um, balsa wood and where you can create scenery. So trees, grass, um, and obviously um, this area uh, and that sort of thing is used heavily in uh, model railways. Um, they were always quite heavily focused on Hornby and uh, model railways. So there we have it. It was the Commodore 64, the C64C, Terminator 2 Judgment Day pack. Those of you that have known me through YouTube and the retro scene probably have already guessed it was the Commodore 64. But yeah, it was my first micro system, my first computer system of any type. Um, my parents were quite keen for me to get um, a computer, as it were, rather than um, a console. Um, they thought that it would maybe open up various opportunities into other things. Um, and they were right. Um, I didn't just stick to games on my Commodore 64. I played around with the basic, um, did a little bit of programming. And almost certainly having the Commodore 64 gave me that next step into the world of PCs. My next PC was an Amstrad Mega PC, and those of you that don't know what that is, it's actually an IBM PC, a 386SX 25 megahertz PC, combined with a Sega Mega Drive. Um, they were quite unique, they were grossly overpriced at the time, but um, they're quite rare machines now. Um, but yeah, having that C64 gave me that launch pad into the PC world, um, and ultimately, I'm now a network architect, I work in IT. So everything that's gone on since through college, um, university, and my work career, I owe to probably owning that Commodore 64 way back in that October 1991. And it's not lost on me what led up to that, getting that system and my dad in his accident and what our family had to go through to enable me to have that machine. Um, and that's why when I got back into the retro um, scene, I was really keen to get myself, my hands on to another Commodore 64. As he's done with many of us, Paul, Retrobait, hooked me up with a Commodore 64 um, and um, it arrived in, it needed a little bit of work. I think the, uh, the power pack, the power cable was a Euro power cable. It needed to change into a UK plug, quite a simple job. Um, and I fired it up and I've got a little video here of it um, being fired up and um, working. So then guys, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video of how I got my first micro and the history around it and the events leading up to it. Um, obviously, the three years before, prior to me getting it and my dad's accident was um, pivotal 
in um, me getting the Commodore 64, and it's not lost on me what sacrifices my parents had to make for me to be able to get that. It only seems fitting that we um, leave this video with some gameplay footage, and of course, it needs to be Terminator 2 Judgment Day on the Commodore 64. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.